Hello and welcome back to another episode of First Round Discussion. Now I've had a little break, I'm back at uni now so I've upgraded the camera and I'm also going to be able to spend a little bit more time focusing on the editing and also the filming of these videos. So today's episode after a little break is going to focus on Chris Eubank taking on James DeGale in the O2 on the 23rd of February. So let's get down to it. So when I look at this fight on the 23rd of February, a lot of things come into my mind. Of course, James DeGale and Chris Eubank are both great British fighters. James DeGale's got a record of 25 wins, 2 losses and 1 draw, whereas Eubank's got 27 wins and 2 losses. So they're not undefeated fighters at all, but they are very good British fighters. And unfortunately for them, they've had a few rough draws. Eubank famously lost to George Groves in the W World Super Series Boxing Semi-Final. But he then won his third round playoff in Jeddah. Whereas um, for De Gale, he had a few rough spells, but he's also coming a bit to the end of his career. So for this fight, when looking at it, it's hard for me to not see this as sort of whoever loses this may face early retirement. Just because if they're not winning this fight, I don't know who they'd fight next. I just can't think about it. But I think whoever wins this fight may then have a shot at say George Groves or someone else who's very high up in the division they then start working their way back up by gaining more momentum so it is difficult when looking at this fight to not see it as potentially a career ender I know no one wants to think that and there may be some people out there watching this who don't think that at all but for me that is sort of what I'm thinking now when it comes to looking at the fight I don't know I want to say Chris Eubank and I do want to say that but at the same time I want to say DeGale because I think DeGale He's a little bit older, he's got a bit more experience, but at the same time I feel like he's not been as tested as much as Chris Eubank Jr. had. So, while Chris Eubank Jr. is not the same fighter as his dad was, I do think Chris Eubank Jr. can win this fight on the 23rd of February. And, personally, that's just me. I know people out there might not agree with this, and that's perfectly fine. But for me, I just think, after George Groves, he's been a bit tested a little bit more. I've just... Psych about it is just telling me, go for Chris, go for Chris. So I'm going to go for Chris. Now, the thing that I am also excited for about this fight is the undercard. You've got Deontay Wilder's younger brother on the undercard. You've got a stacked undercard. And Deontay Wilder is set to come over to watch his younger brother box, which is going to be interesting, especially for AJ's in the audience as well. But who knows, I'm speculating. That's for a whole other video. But this whole night should be a really good night especially the way the undercard stacked up and especially how close I think the fight's going to go. I think it may even be possibly as tight as White Chisora. No one really knew what was happening there until White came in and just cleared him out with a knockout. Well, I don't think it's going to be a knockout. I would really think decision going either way. But that's just me. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and make sure you leave a like and let me know who you're going to pick and also if you think this can change in any way because of course I'm up for change, I'm fine with that. So, thank you for watching, I'll see you next week.